All right, guys, I'm back. Astronox here for another Shadow Blood gameplay video. Uh, this time we'll go with uh, some PvP and raids. So uh, here, wait, where is it? Yes, eight v eight. That I think that's like the highest I can actually go right now with my setup. It's like, I'll, I'll just do it to show you guys, but uh, three win, one loss this week, but uh, it, the loss was like the battle before this one. Like you'll see, I'll just lose it. I'm not gonna face like eight players, it's just gonna be like two, three, I believe. If it's eight, there's gonna be one that's stronger than me in there. I mean, it could be any amount. Okay, it's eight. Let's see with the salt how it ends up. I'm actually curious, this but uh, I should be losing. Be so many things going on here. Like, uh, yeah, it's like I said, I'm to be. It's just the way it is. Just the system just makes it so you uh, you lose at a certain point, a certain rating. It's like that rating is pretty much the best I can get with my gears, my gear setup. Now this one, I could maybe even lose this one, but I believe I, I should be able to win it. So you can just do this forever, like when it's getting close to the end of the week and the uh, scores are gonna get ta tallied. This is going to be a fight. Uh, I started it too early. I don't think I was coming in. I'm so stupid, man. Uh, you know, I, I, got, I got disrupted. It just interrupted me. You can do this process like you know you'll lose and you know you'll like kind of win. So you just do it until you get a good score and then like a couple rating more to see if you min max your, your rating for the week. And that, that's pretty much it. You know. I think it's special here. Just, the system is set up so you can you can only cap at a certain rating with the current setup gear you have. You see that I got 20, so that's really good. Like you can get, I don't know, maybe between 10 and 20 when you lose. 20 is like insane. Most of the time I get like 13, 14, maybe 15. I don't know why. Maybe I got 20 because I uh, killed them fast or something. So I'm just going back to see the score. So this you don't need to do it every day. Just have a nice rating. When you get a couple gear upgrades and you believe that you might be able to push for another win, you know, you, you do it. So here I should be, I don't know about 1%, but I might end up being 2 to 10%. I mean, I'm happy with 100 gems. I'm free to play and... Oh yes, guys, I've been buying this here. My gems, that's where I spend them. I just unlock more vendors. This is really important, I believe. Like. Like if you, you plan on uh, playing this game for, f sticking with this game for a while, uh, yeah, I mean, I've gotten like Arkin's Lair Ticket, I've gotten plenty of stamina, uh, I've gotten like Enhancement Material, uh, random Enhancement Material that ended up being a Legendary Material, and if you buy straight up the Legendary Material from here, it's 2 million, 2 million gold, so that's nice, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, you can get tickets, silver keys, all kinds of keys. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. You should... Because uh, the gear, you can just farm. Or, like... Wait, not this. The thing is, like, you need plenty of gold, and you need plenty of enhancement stone to build your gear. Like, look, I still have to work on this. 
I still have to work on this. You know, I'm like, I can't even keep up with the gear I'm getting right now. So, I mean, I got lucky to pull this from a gear pull, but I believe that you should maybe not even pull for gear in this game. Just, just use your gem to unlock the vendor slots. Maybe early on, yes, you do a gear pull like me, but with the here event store, if you have the time, you definitely should farm for these boxes. Like uh, just spam, spam riffs, get those uh, those uh, things ASAP. Uh, you can chain farm a level, but riffs is the fastest way to uh, get those. Like every run, I get one or two, and the runs are like a minute. These you can get from Raid, and I think you can get them for from Rift 4. I have not been spam farming it because I already have a weapon. I'm looking for for a helm or accessory, but you know, uh, this is definitely worth farming. The thing is, when you first complete the campaign, you get a lot of, of those stones, but then it changes. Uh, you start getting like you start only getting like one or two or three per clear. Uh, well, between zero and three so far, that's what I've seen. Uh, most of the time it's like zero or just one. Okay. Why? Why is it not starting? Is it lagging? A fair battle there. I mean, that's it. Uh, PvP 8v8. Just you get your rating, and then you just come here and you just farm this. You have all week to uh, build up your ranking. I have not been uh, building up my score here. I, like, even if you lose, you get one point. Sometimes even more depending on who you're facing, who your opponent is. But, uh, you know, I've not been uh, spending all my uh, my keys here. Uh, did not have the time lately. Just like gold farming overnight, that's like easy, just let it go. But, uh, I mean, for a couple rank increase, like plus one, plus one, uh, doesn't really matter to me anyways. I mean, uh, maybe you go crazy and you, you're able to get into that 1%. Uh, like, I mean, if you have, like, gear similar to mine. But then, like, getting in top uh, top 100, I think that's uh, that's just uh, something else. You need to be level 70 with uh, endgame gear. Like, fully enhanced to at least 35. And from enhancing gear so far, I've noticed that... Uh, as a free to play player and not using gems on uh, and not using like blessing or like the luck, ch luck charms um, 35 is like the sweet spot kind of like my weapon I tried to up it higher than 35 right the thing dropped to like 30 or 31 like twice and I had to bring it up and that's a ton of gold and ton of transcendence uh, orb and uh, those crafting uh, uh, orbs uh, I mean I believe like getting all your gear to like 35 it's kind of like like even getting 35 is is hard so so yeah get all your gears up there and then then work on uh, upgrading whichever piece you think you'll really like stick to you'll use for a really long time Oh, 
Stupid. Should save the shield troll for wh when he does the assault. I've, be I've just been doing raid 2 for safety and uh, like every time I try to join on raid 3 there's like no one that have a game that has a game up and it's kind of risky like if you cannot solo it joining on someone it might just end up being like someone that was hoping for strong like strong players to carry him same dude You know, you could just go in there and... Uh Run away and then you assault. Assault will just target automatically. Oh, Make it easier. You see, like six point increase. That's really nice. But like when you lose and you like you get plus one and it take takes forever. What you could do is just. You go in, you fight, you know, if you're t fighting someone that you have like no chance beating, just like come back like a couple minutes and queue again. If you keep queuing, it's, the guy's just gonna farm you. Or if you don't have time, just, I don't know, and you want your points, just AFK in the game. If you know you're like, you're, you're loose, just, just quit the game, you know? I wonder if quitting actually. You should probably not charge at the maximum range because you want to have the 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 ch when it charges it does like damage. It does like three or four hits, so you should probably uh, charge halfway, ha half the range to maximize the damage you're doing. Could do something like go away, shield throw to get that stun in. While you're running, you could just like pop your uh, your counter attack and then like charge in with assault. I really wonder like how long does that counter attack buff last? I believe it might just be like two second tops, between one and two second. It's, it's not that great. It's like, but I mean, if you end up not like if you end up uh, counter attacking the the target, you actually knock him down it's it's a hundred percent chance unless his uh cc resistance kicks in and it gets resisted but for pvp a knockdown can uh, can make a massive difference so yeah like i said this game is very simple it's all about getting that gold and like uh, transcendence orb and like it's 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 fairly simple to just uh, to understand. winning point. Oh, that was a fast one. Will it be the time where I get destroyed? Nope. Yeah, I don't even use crystals. This 
in these battles. I run away, shoot the thing, charge him. Uh, it's not like he actually got stoned or something, he's just giving it. What? Okay, I'm lagging here. I'll just keep having my skills, you know? Whatever happens. 